Good evening, Voltage fans, and welcome to tonight's match. Beautiful, sunny summer evening, July 8th, between your Vermont Voltage and the Rhode Island Stingrays are in town tonight. Alongside with Jamie Hutchins is James McCarran. On the injured list, Erie Senge oh. having a go at it, oh. right into the goalie. Speaking of right into the goalie, that's David Semenza, former Voltage goalie from last summer, playing for the Rhode Island Stingrays this summer. So James, thanks for coming, and uh, we'll be looking to get some some of your take on this game as it unfolds. Yep. James, James is on the injured reserve list with a smashed up ankle from a game. What game did you get injured in? It was up in Ottawa about, about a month and a half ago. So and what exactly is the injury? Um, I, I tore two ligaments in the in my ankle, um, which the doctor said would would put me out for the season. But luckily, I've been doing well on the recovery. I've been acting it very well. So hopefully, I'm looking to get the last few games. Yeah, that would be good. I know the team could use you. Let's set the lineups for tonight's match. In goal for the Voltage, Nate Lovitz from Maine, Bo Simic, longtime captain from Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Mark Benson, listed in midfield. Jamie Wunsch from Princeton, playing in the back. Oh, this is an early chance. Good save from Nate Lovitz. Nate Lovitz making a nice save to his right. David Purser, who looks like he's been in a war recently. Where did he get those that headband from? Again, the same place where I got injured in mine. He was playing up in Ottawa last game and uh, received an elbow to the head, had five stitches to, to win the wound. So he's got a big old headband covering his five stitches. And uh, after Purser, Mike Forenza, number seven, Iri Soon, number eight, Derek McKenzie. Playing a forward position is number 16. Brian Leonard, number 17, playing in the back. And Bo Vucevic, number 24, playing wherever he wants. Right now, it looks like he's going to play in the middle of the field. And we have a goal kick for Nate Lovitz, setting the Rhode Island roster. In goal, David Semenza. Defender number three, Matt Looks like Brittner, number six defender Ben Brackett, a former Voltage player from last summer, Brown University product. Uh, alongside Brackett is number five, Alonzo. Looks like Villanor. Number 15, Darren Howell Howerton. Number 18, midfielder Michael Pereira. Number seven, midfielder David Badecki, and number 10, another midfielder, Jeffrey Cameron. And up top, head forward, we have number 21, Jeff Gonzalves, and number two, Dino Patramanis. So there you have the rosters. Let's pay attention to the game. Just underway here on a beautiful evening at Collins Pearly Sports Complex. Good ball in. Simic with a clearing header. That'll be a Rhode Island throw-in. Good size. Some sketchy marking there. Number seven for Rhode Island, Dan Le Borman was allowed to cross the top of the box unmarked. And he was allowed to pass it to a, another player on his team six yards out unmarked. Voltage do well to get out of that unscathed. Goal kick for Nate Lovitz. That's going to be a feature of Voltage game today with Derek playing up top. Number 16, be looking for his head. Been <laughs> Eerie Sunji making his first start for a while, making runs off, trying to put, get a second ball.
Brian Leonard on the ball now. And again, going to Derek's head. Looking for one of the midfielders to play off him. It's by Vuskovic. It's Bo Simic. That's a foul. Free kick now, and Jamie Woosh, number four, making his way up to the top. And our captain, Bo Simic, is going to look for Derek on this free kick. It's unlucky from Mike Forenza. Well read from Nate Lovitz. Coming out early. Maybe needed a bit better service on the free kick. Didn't really deal with it when it came back out. That's well won again by Derek. Lucky there, called offside on Avery. It's not a bad ball there. That well by our number 17, Brian Leonard. Had one of very good performances. Number 10 there from for Rhode Island. Jeffrey Cameron doing very well. Offside called on the number seven. Free kicks can be taken by Nate Lovitz. Again, that's well won by. I doubt looking for looking for Ari Sunji. That's good holding off by David Purser. Good defending. Jamie Rich now Voltage looking to play out of the defence. Switching the field. I'm throwing now for Rhode Island. <laughs> Both teams still seem to be in a feeling out phase. No, nobody really putting a lot of pressure on the goal. Voltage coming off a tough loss Wednesday night in Ottawa, 1 0. Result looking to earn another three points against longtime rival Rhode Island Stingrays. It's not a bad ball there. Well picked out by Bovuskovic. Nice through ball for Rhode Island. Wanch defending. It's good defending. Rhode 
Rhode Island with a little bit of a cross, easily taken by Lovitz. And he'll play it long, it looks like. Not, not that long. Well picked up by Mike Forenza, good skill. Forenza trying to get it out to Zura on the right flank. Has it intercepted and Rhode Island countering. Picked up by Brian Leonard. Vucevic has not seen much of the ball yet this evening. A little bit surprising. Usually he's in the center of the action. Simic to Zura on the outside. Back to Simic. That'll be long. Iri Sun going on the ball. Nice ball from Simic. Forenza does well to get it to Vucevic. And looks like McKenzie was off sides. Some nice play there from the voltage. Leonard cleaning it up in the back. Simic with a little mistake and he makes up for it with a good effort. Well done from Erie. And over nicely to Benson on the left side. Sparky, I think I need your help right here. I think we need to turn up the voltage in this crowd. I think we need some t-shirts to fly into the crowd. What do you guys think? Bracket with the ball from the back from Rhode Island. Voltage defending well on that ball. It'll be Nate Lovitz with a goal kick. So, James, let's talk a little bit about how you get got hooked up with the voltage for the summer. How did that all come about? Well, I um, I attend college down in uh, Southwest Virginia, and uh, the coach is a former voltage player, Daniel Balaguerre, and uh, I expressed my my uh, feelings for wanting to play PDL in the summer, and he said that that the Voltage are a top-notch top notch PDL side and that I should go up and it would be a great experience for me and he spoke to Bo Vukovic and, and I came up here for tryouts and made the team. So, and How has your summer unfolded other than the injury? I know it's kind of put a big damper on the summer but how's your experience been here this it, summer? Up, up until the injury I thought that I was really enjoying training sessions and the games have been have been top class. I mean the facilities all around where, wherever we've been have been, have been brilliant and especially here at the Voltage got some great facilities so I've been enjoying it and, and ever since the injury I've still come to all the home games and, and it's just been a good experience meeting new people so I've enjoyed and every minute. Where are you coming from in England? Um, I'm coming from London originally in, in, uh, in England. What club are you so playing on there? What's your, what did you grow up playing? Well uh, I uh, first started out at um, Aston Villa um, in, in Birmingham and then uh, I moved up to the northeast and lived 
and played for Lincoln City uh, youth teams uh, up until the age of 18, and then I uh, and then I came out to university out here. Out here. And how is Danny Balaguerro doing? A very famous voltage player from several years back. Yeah, he's doing really well. He's um, he did a great job as head coach at my college, and, and recently took the job on as assistant coach at the University of Maine. So, um, like all all those down in Virginia, wishing the best of luck, and I'm sure he's going to be a success. Did you say that he just moved to Maine? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And he's going to be an assistant there. Yep. How is that going to work out? Well, he he, he knows the the first team coach there, and, and I think he's got a he's, it's, it's a good job at Maine. I think it's a big school, um, so it's a good opportunity for him to to maybe use that experience and get a head head team head coaching job at a D1 school in the future. I think. Interesting. I hadn't heard about that. And when do you head back to Virginia? Um, I head back there on the the 12th of August for, for the start of pre-season. So, um, have they hired a new coach down there? Yeah, we've the the women's assistant. Well, the women's first team coach has been promoted to the men's. Um, he's also an English English guy originally from Newcastle. So, looking forward to the season. It'll yeah. be, uh, be something new. And what year are you at school? Adam. What year are you at school? Um, I'll, be, I'll be a returning sophomore. So you just started there last year? Yep. <laughs> oh. And a long shot from number 10, Jeffrey Cameron goes off the Very good strike. side post. Good piece of skill there from number 10. Jeffrey Cameron has been probably the most skillful player for the Rhode Island team so far this game. Seems to be the general in the midfield. Nate Levis with a long goal kick. Erie trying to get across to Mike Forenza. It's not quite going to get there. That's a good look. That's a good try from Erie. Purser being pressured from behind, puts the ball out of bounds. That'll be a Rhode Island throw. There's a foul called against Rhode Island. Lovitz will have a direct kick. And again, well won by Derek, number 16. In case you were wondering, there's still room in some of the voltage, in all the voltage summer camps. You can find out the details at www.vermontvoltage.com. There are camps all over the state of Vermont. Still some overnight camp availability. And the voltage players you see here on television will be coaching at all voltage camps. Simic with a ball in the middle. Long cross. Nice ball to Chris Zura. Ben Brackett clearing for Rhode Island.
Erie unlucky getting the ball stuck under his feet. Kenzie with a nice run down the left side, looking for some help. And there he gets it finally from Erie. Over to Vucevic. And they're not communicating well enough. Was a nice pass from Vucevic, but Derek McKenzie didn't quite anticipate it. Much of a clear from Nate Lovitz. That'll be a Rhode Island throw. Number seven, Danley Borman, showing some quick feet, some skill with the ball. Jeffrey Cameron, number two. Number 10 trying to play the outside of his foot into the goal area. And that'll be a goal kick. Bring the voltage again after watch the number 10 who's been getting on the ball. Making a few opportunities. <laughs> for a corner kick by uh, number three, Mark Benson. Lovitz does well to get up high and receive that ball. struggling a little bit on his distribution. Number 10, Jeffrey Cameron is all over the field tonight so far for the Rhode Island Stingrays. And if you're just joining us, we're Collins Furley Sports Complex, July 8th, playing the Rhode Island Stingrays against the Vermont Voltage, score is 0-0. We're in the 24th minute. And it's been a pretty even match so far. Along with me in the booth, this is Jamie Hutchins speaking, is James McCarron, an injured voltage player, giving us some updates on the team. Oh, nice pass from Rhode Island. Looks like the right midfielder couldn't do much with it. Rhode Island starting to find the gaps. Oh, just need to tighten up at the back a little bit. So James, it seems like the Voltage have started playing quite a bit better in the last uh, 10 days. What, the last two games that I've seen, what's been the uh, change in the team to make it come together a little bit more than it was in the beginning of the year? I think Bo Simic has been a, a big help since he's come. Um, he's yep. played in the central midfield and really dictated most of the play. And uh, he's been a big influence in training as well. Um, I just think it's his presence that, that helps a lot of players is just composure on the ball, um, settles everyone down. Yeah, he has, you know, probably this is his seventh year playing here with the Voltage and he was a full professional before that. Brings a lot of experience to the table when he shows up here in the summer. Oh, Derek McKenzie with a nice play, just a little bit offsides. 
It's good think to see the Voltage are able to get through on these. I think also these some balls. good performances from from uh, Brian Leonard um, just recently. He's stepped up again and he's starting to, to really play very well at the back in the sweeper position. Mm -hmm. What about Jamie Wunsch? He's just arrived. Is he a late arrival this summer? Yeah, he, he just arrived um, about a month, just over a month ago from uh, Princeton University. He's, he's been a big help at the back as well. He's uh, really solidified our defense. Yeah, he's obviously a very experienced player. He's had a lot of good coaching at Princeton. Simic with a nice ball down to Zura, the right flank. Cleared by Ben Brackett, former voltage sweeper from last summer, playing closer to Brown University, his college in Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island Stingrays. Long, long throw from Zura, voltage unable to take advantage of it. taking their time, moving the ball forward. It looks like Mark Benson is down with an injury. Benson is up and the ball's in play. Goes back to Nate Lovitz. Plays it short to David Purser. Rhode Island trying to go for the longer ball and not being successful. Zura looking for some help. Wunsch on the ball. Go Simic with a nice one-time ball. Volley off of his chest. Right to David Semenza. much of a shot from number two, Dino Patromanis of Rhode Island. Uh. <laughs> so James, how much of the World Cup have you been able to watch and what's your impression? No, I've watched quite a few games. Um, I thought it's been a very, very, very exciting World Cup so far. A bit different to the last World Cup. Whereas the last World Cup, there's a lot of surprises. I think all the big teams 
um, performed fairly well uh, in, this, in this year's World Cup. Apart from England, I have to say. What were you doing on the day that England got eliminated? I was actually watching the game. Um, I was I was absolutely devastated. But I was I, I was disappointed with the way England played throughout the tournament. I think with the players we had, we should have done a lot better. Maybe made the final at least. Um, but to watch them go out on penalties again um, was very disappointing. But I think the the final should be a great game. France versus Italy. I'd, I'd probably say the best two teams in the tournament, and the, they they do deserve to be there. I think Argentina were doing well, but but uh, they lost to Germany in the quarterfinals. So I think the best two teams are, are in the final. Brian Leonard with a nice clear there. Some good action there from Voltage and Rhode Island. To no avail, no score. 0-0 zero, zero here at Collins Pearly Sports Complex. July 8th, Saturday night, a beautiful Saturday night here in St. Albans. Borman with a cross. Well cleared by Bo Simic. Boko Vukovic now getting on the ball. <coughs> well done there by David Purser, keeping possession well. Boko Vukovic starting to get on the ball a bit more now. Mark Benson doing well on the left side, holding off his man, maintaining possession, getting it to Vucevic and around the horn to the other side. And that ugly ball goes into the stands for a voltage throw in. Simic, Vucevic with a long right-footed ball, just misses the post. Some good action from the voltage. Good effort. Good ball. Simic with a nice ball to Erie up top. Can't control. Benson to Mark, Mike Forenza. And they go backwards. Here's Rhode Island on a break. Long and deep into the corner. Cleared by Simic. <laughs> Number 15, Darren Howerton. A left footed effort that was not that impressive. Nate Lovitz play the ball out of the back here in the 35th minute, of the first half. Well, one by Derek McKenzie. McKenzie really making his presence felt here tonight, particularly with the head balls. Ben 
Jordan Brackett tries to get it through. Cameron off the post. Voltage players looking for an offside call. And they're not going to get it. Vushkovic showing a little frustration there in the middle of the field. And Rhode Island will counter with speed. Cameron with a long right-footed shot that's well over the top. Mike Lowitz probably going to be looking for Derek McKenzie again. And there he is, well played, right to Erie Soon. Couldn't quite see what that foul was called for, but Bosimic will be on the ball. Simic would like to have that one back. McKenzie doing well to receive that ball, maintain it. Keep possession. Go, go. Go. Go, go. Good work by Mark Benson. It's a good cross. Well kept in by Chris Zura. Can't do much with that break, and the voltage will counter quickly. Coming into the to the TV booth is one of the lady voltage defenders, Jess Molson. How was your game this evening, Jess? Can we get a few words? game we didn't get the win but we got the tie and that's the first time that we've performed that well and had that kind of a success against Toronto in the two seasons we've played so nice play from the voltage Zura with a nice ball back to McKenzie So getting the draw tonight against the Toronto Lady Lynx from uh, the Vermont Lady Voltage. That was a satisfactory result, I take it, for tonight. Yeah, we'll take it. We want to improve. It's something we can work off of. I think we're starting to come together as a team more and working for one another on the field. So. And... What's your next game? Who do you play next? We have Montreal coming up. It's Wednesday, right? All right. Montreal on Wednesday night. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Caroline Vanderpool, former Lady Voltage player, coming in. So it's going to be the first time that she's played at Collins Pearly since she left our club. Last year, she played for the Lady Voltage. 
So Montreal's having a good season. I think they've, uh, they're third on the table for the North Division of the W League. So that should be an exciting match Wednesday night at Collins Pearly Sports Complex. Trying to mount an attack here. Voltage holding their own. And Nate Lovitz with a goal kick. Ben Brackett trying a long cross, and no one can control it. That'll go out of bounds for a voltage throw. In the 42nd minute here at Collins Purley, we're still tied at 0 0. with a clearing header. Cameron with too much room. He puts it over the top. It's deflected over the top for a Rhode Island corner. Cameron's been everywhere this game. The number 10 for Rhode Island Stingrays. Yeah, he certainly is all over the field. Quality player from Rhode Island. It's a poor corner kick though. Scrambling going on. Voltage come out with it. Like Forenza on the ball, looking for Erie. Forenza filed from behind. Looks like we'll have a yellow card. Not sure that was a yellow card infraction. But this referee seems to think so. Maybe the voltage make one before half time now. That's number 19, David Badecki receiving the yellow card. Vucicovic. <laughs> with the cross and all the Vultures had players had cleared out of the space that the ball went into and so Rhode Island will bring it up. Creating a chance there off, her, off some slack Vermont voltage defending. And Lovitz does well to keep the ball out of the net. Well, when again, Mike McKenzie. And 
that's halftime. Your Vermont Voltage zero and the visiting Rhode Island Stingray zero. We'll be back. Stay with us. We'll be back after halftime. And welcome back, Voltage fans, to the second half of tonight's fixture between the Vermont Voltage and the Rhode Island Stingrays. Score is 0 0. And we have James McCarran in the booth tonight to spice things up with an English accent and a little bit of experience from being on the Voltage team, injured at the moment, looking to get back for the final few games of the year. What's your impression of the first half, James? Well, I think both teams took a while settling down. It took about a good 20 or 30 minutes for them both to settle down. There's a few chances for the Rhode Island Stingrays, but then we had a few chances as well. We had an early chance with Eri Sunji going close. So we both had our chances, so I think, it's, I think there's not going to be many goals in it. Yeah, it seems like uh, the teams seem to be fairly evenly matched at this point. Yeah. Beautiful ball from Vucevic down to Derek McKenzie. And he doesn't control it right away, but he gets it back. Benson supporting. Looking for the cross. Good Picks ball. out soon. Nice ball. Oh. Zura brings it down and can't get off a good enough shot. Good ball from Mark Benson there. Great cross. Nice ball from Vucevic down to Derek McKenzie in the corner. It'll be a handball against Rhode Island. Wunsch with a hard Great cross oh. to Siri, and he can't quite get the handle on it. Jamie Wunsch with a nice cross ball. Great ball. I think ever since he joined the team, he's added a bit of competitiveness into the training sessions. Very fit, very fit lad. Who's Gets that you're speaking of? Jamie Wooch. Gets up and down that wing. Right. Very fit boy. Nice step in from David Purser. Simic with a nice ball over the top to Zura. And he wins a corner kick. And again, just what I was saying about Jamie, like Chris, uh, another very fit guy in preseason. He was running, he was at the front of the pack, gets up and down that right wing. Voltage taking their time getting this corner set up. Looks like Simic will take it. Not a bad ball. A low driven ball to the near post, and there'll be another voltage corner. Looking for Derek McKenzie's header, I'm sure. Ooh. And that ball is cleared by Rhode Island. By Vucevic keeping possession. It's a great Vucevic ball. with a nice ball to Simic. Simic crossing it. Is that Forenza who got knocked down in, at the six yard line? And Jamie Wooch, I think. That is Wunsch. All the way up in the box. Great ball from Vucevic to Simic and Simic across the middle. Unfortunate not to come out with a point there. Good ball. Well out by Mark Benson. <laughs> Good 
fouling off sides and the voltage take advantage quickly. Vucicovic and Simic miscommunicating there. And the voltage win it right back. Vucicovic bombs one into the atmosphere from 32 yards. I think that's the key for the voltage. We need to get Bo Simic and Bo Vucicovic on the ball as much as we can. They're the creators in the team. <coughs> Benson going for the nutmeg. Probably not the best place on the field to be doing that. Nicely cleared by Lovitz. Nice ball from Forenza to Iri Sun on the right wing. Defended by Ben Brackett. Brackett's clearance is intercepted. Menza from Rhode Island with a goal kick. Oh, Benson wins the ball. Vucicovic plays it a little long for Chris Zura. Good, ma good mags, good skill left from 21. Trouble. Oh. Number 10. Jeffrey Cameron. Jeffrey Cameron, Rhode Island's best player as we see it. Gets a nice through ball from number 21. Jeff Gonzalez drives it with his left foot and Lovitz can't quite get all of it and it leaks through to the back of the net. Rhode Island one, your Vermont voltage zero. 55 minutes into this match, plenty of time for the voltage to get back onto it. Certainly the voltage 
are playing well enough to tie this up and go ahead. So we're looking for a little more offense now from the Voltage now that they're down by one. Gonzalez on the ball with Ferenza. Well played. Good turn from Mike well Ferenza played. up to Simic. And there goes Zura on the far side. Nobody sees him. There it is. And that's going to be long. <coughs> well won by Bo Simic. Rhode Island on a break. Nice Good ball, ball through. Rhode Island almost sneaks one in the near post, but that's going to be a goal kick for the voltage. battling going on in the middle of the field. Well, we just need to start keeping possession again. First 10 minutes we were we were doing quite well, created a few chances, just need to get that possession back. moon has risen up over the horizon here at Collins Purley Sports Complex making for a beautiful evening to watch a soccer game. Rhode Island bringing the ball out of the back. Simic dispossessed and then wins the ball back. So James, looking on the pregame roster, it shows that Matt Stedman is back listed as available for play. What was the injury he was dealing with for the last uh, couple of games? Um, he sustained a, an injury to his, one of his hip flexors, um, and he went to the, the orthopedics, and they said maybe a week, two weeks, but it healed up quite well over the last few nights, and he's been icing it religiously. So uh, he was able to sit on the bench today and maybe take part in this game if need be. 
Well, uh, so he's been the uh, main goal scorer so far for the Voltage this, this year. So he might be somebody that comes in with a few minutes to play if the Voltage still need a point, need mm -hmm. a goal. As we're approaching 60 minutes done in this game. Stadman is M Matt Stedman's always in the right place at the right time. He's a, he's a, he's a good player to throw in the last 10 minutes. Maybe finish an opportunity or create one. Benson getting called for a foul. Oh, that's a good save. I think he saw it late. Number seven, Danley Berman hit one quite nicely with his <coughs> left foot. Looks like the ball moved quite a bit. Nate Lovitz just being able to knock it down with his right hand. That was a strong hand as well. I think he ended up diving a little bit the wrong way. Recovered well. <laughs> Here he soon leaves one nicely for Bovuchkovich. Gets a good rip on it, but it's a little high. Nate Lovitz comes in hard, makes the initial save. And then number seven, Denley Bierman puts the rebound into the side netting. It looks like that goal will stay. Rhode Island Stingrays two, Vermont Voltage near zero. I think the forward just still in, so we've we've created a few chances. Maybe should have scored a few, so I'm sure we can create a few more. There is plenty of time left in this match. Put some points on the board. <laughs> Looks like the voltage are about to make a change. Looks like, looks like Nathan Dalmas might be coming on. Middlebury College product, number 19, Nathan Demers. Looks Very like he's competitor. getting suited up. What's Nathan like as a player? He's a very tough competitor, very, very good like man marker, very good defender. Who do you suppose he might be coming in for? Might be coming in for maybe Erie. Does he play up top? No, maybe maybe Derek and Bo play up top and and they find come in the midfield. Uh huh. For all the information you need on the voltage and the lady voltage, find the St. Albans Messenger, your number one source for St. Albans area news. 
Oh, Derek. And here are the substitutions coming. We'll find out who it's for. Looks like Derek McKenzie is coming off. And the Thondemers is going on. As I thought he'd come in and play in midfield. Very tough tackler. Like Bo Vucevic just moved right up to the top spot. Nathan Demers playing on the left side, maybe playing forward position. Simic's cross is blocked. Well played by Mike Ferenza on the far side. It's good footwork. Good footwork. Good footwork from Rhode Island, number 10. Don't forget, Voltage Bishop. fans, all of the Voltage camps still have room. www.vermontvoltage.com gives you all the information on professional soccer camps in Vermont all over the state. The, all these Voltage players you see here will be coaching at these camps. Great activity for your kids. Vermontvoltage.com What was that you were going to say? I was going to say good work by both of them, still working hard. moving the ball around the field quite well. That ball intercepted. It's a good look there from Bo Simic. Oh. Demers trying to try on the through pass. Some nice give and goes on the sideline. Well in by Brian Leonard. Zero with good defending there. Win from again, Brian Leonard doing well. Battling by the voltage in midfield, still working hard. Still enough time to get two goals. Oh, Simic is taken down hard on the far side. Gets the call.
Mark Benson with an ambitious drive. And that'll be a goal kick for the Stingrays, David Semenza. with a through ball from Simic. Jamie Wunsch on a nice through ball. Good ball from Bo. Coming in all the way from his right back position, putting some pressure on, and he's staying in for the corner. Now Derek's out of the game, we're looking for Brian Leonard to come forward and hopefully get his head on this. Him and Jamie Woosh, big aerial threats. Looks like Simic on the ball. Ball looks like it went out of bounds. It's called a goal kick. About 18 minutes left now. Forge can still pressure, it's only two goals. Gotta look for Vukovic and maybe Stadman coming in the last 10 minutes. Opportunity for Chris Silver. Boy, it's called offside. It's unlucky that was good build up from the voltage. Then he takes a second to score a goal. It looks like Mirza Kovac might be coming on the number 18. He's going he's gonna to come in for Eri Sunji. Here he's first start for a while. He's worked very hard. I've been close to scoring a few times. I think Mirza will come on and play on the right. Yeah, that looks where he's, he's going. He's going to play. Brian Leonard defending again. That's a, that's, a dodge, that's a dodgy call by the referee. <laughs> Brian Leonard with a free kick. Go, go, girl. 
Mark Benson on the ball, playing as the Bay Vukovic. Being caught in possession there. It's a good touch by number 22. Good defending by David Person, number six. Crusher on the ball now, looking to keep possession, get our rhythm back. David Purse are getting stuck in. Kovac came on for um, Erie. He's gone out to play on the right. Mike Friends has gone up top. Looks like Bo Simic is up top. Yep. Bo Simic, I've never seen him play up top. Perhaps that's his spot. Substitution for Rhode Island, Jonathan Pereira. Come on for the number seven, Danley Bowman. Mike Friend is still getting stuck in and still working hard. 15 minutes to go. Simic trying to work some magic in the box. There is a corner kick. Simic wins the ball at the top of the box, battling two defenders. Nathan Demers battling a much taller player. It's good skill from number 10 from Rhode Island again. And a long. 
strong left-footed bomb from number 15, Darren Howerton. That'll go over the top. Nate Lovitz with a goal kick. The number is Voltage seem to be struggling at the moment to get the ball on the floor and pushing it around, playing everything over the top unsuccessfully. Here's a run. Good running there from Chris Zura late on in this game. Benson with a long drive taken by Semenza. Good bottom there from Jamie Rouge. Simic with a, a Vuchkovic with a nice long ball to Simic in the corner. Maybe this could present the first goal of the night for the voltage. Good ball. Voltage putting pressure on this Rhode Island goal. Long cross, Vucevic can't quite track it down. About seven minutes left in this match. Rhode Island Stingrays two, the Vermont Voltage zero. Seven minutes to play here at Collins Pearly Sports Complex, St. Albans, Vermont. Against the Ottawa Fury at 
Be sure not to miss any voltage action. And that's a foul called on Mike Forenza of Rhode Island going forward. A nice strike from number 22, James Granger. Just missing the far post. Offsides, Vucevic. Oh. Benson clears it out. Seems if Matt Sedman was going to come into this game, it would have been four or five minutes ago. At this point, I don't see uh, him warming up. Perhaps a missed opportunity. But perhaps he's just not quite fit enough to come on. Ten, Jeffrey Cameron showing some intense skill. Going at it a little bit with David Purser. That was pretty incredible skill there being shown by David by Jeffrey Cameron. That was pretty impressive. Taken by David Purser. Very high ball played to the far side. Rhode Island maintains possession. Voltage can't clear. And that'll be it for number 10, Jeffrey Cameron. He'll be coming off. On going on, number 17, Ryan McCormick. Another former Voltage player from last summer from Brown University playing here in St. Albans last summer. Long ball to Simich, can't control, and that'll be handled by David Semenza. And 
we are in stoppage time here at Collins Purley. Looks like Thermia Diala might be coming on last few minutes. And that's the game. And so, Vermont Voltage drop another one. It's 2-0 to the, to the Rhode Island Stingrays, longtime rivals. But a good entertaining match here at Collins Purley Sports Complex. And thanks for watching. For James McCarron, this is Jamie Hutchins saying thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Next home game is Wednesday, July 12th, I think it is. It's coming up Wednesday. The women play at 5.30. Men's Voltage play at 7.30. Collins Burley Sports Complex. Thank you.